Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is my big money Bolo video. I think my lowest priced item was $37 and my highest was $250. I love a big money Bolo. And I've got some good ones in this one. Um, I feel like I'm kind of getting out there and sourcing again. So there should be some more good stuff. So more, more big money bolos because I'm not sourcing from my money pile, um, which I did not even put a dent in. It's awful. Um, all right, let's get started. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's start with the first item. Let me get my screen share up here. And the first item I picked up at a thrift store and I believe it was like $8. It does have a little bit of damage here. And when I bought it, I was not sure if it was complete. And I just knew that right now things like this are doing well because people are in their homes and they're not going to the gym. So I was very excited to pick this up at a, um, at a good price. And it, you know, it had some scuffs and scratches, but overall, you know, pretty decent condition. And I had a feeling it was a bolo, but this was um, like zip tied. So I wasn't sure what was in here. I did not have the instructions and there's no box. So it was, it was not really risky because of the price, but I wasn't sure how high it would go because of the fact that I wasn't sure what all it was. And I didn't look it up. Like, I, did I look it up? I might've looked it up. I might be lying. I know I looked it up when I got home. I can't remember if I looked it up in the store. I might have. I'm thinking now that I might have. So disregard. I think I did look it up. Um, sold it for $130 plus shipping. And it sold within, I think, a day or two. It sold super fast. And I don't even know exactly what it does. But pretty cool. The next item. Okay, this one is my husband's bolo. He picked this up at a flea market. He paid $40, but these are vintage Ray-Bans, new old stock, you guys. How cool is that? Yeah. And they're Bosch and Lom, I think is how you say it. b and I think that's what it stands for. Let me see if you put it down here. Yeah. Awesome new old stock Ray-Ban by Bosch and Lom. I think I'm saying that right. But anyway, super, super cool. He probably could have held out for more, but he took a best offer of $130 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is mine. That's the only one that's my husband's. Every once in a while, he throws some stuff up on eBay and he always finds bolos. But um, if he could do this full time, he would make so much money because he's so good at sourcing. Uh, all right, these cards. I picked these up at a garage sale and I think I paid 50 cents for them. Vintage cards can definitely be a bolo. Um, I'm trying to find the inside for you because they have sheets of music inside of them. They are very, 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 very neat. They've got uh, great artwork and the music. So I sold these best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. These Thomas the Train came from a garage sale. I picked a huge lot, best offer of $50 on these and the buyer paid shipping. I could have made more selling them individually, yes, but um, I just, sometimes I just lot things up just to move it quick. The next item is this vintage Barbizon nightgown. I picked this up at a garage sale. There was a whole bunch of vintage clothing and I bought it all for one price. So I probably got two or three bucks in this. And the buyer paid shipping and I took a best offer of $48. And it did have a couple of issues just to show you. Um, right here, you can see where the lace is kind of ripped and right here. So not too bad given its age. The next item are these Mickey Mouse Unlimited One Piece Flannel Adult Pajamas, size large. I probably should have put adult in the title. Hmm, anyway. Uh, these came from my I Got It Free at Garage Sale video, and I sold these for $48 and the buyer paid shipping. So typically when I auction something off, I expect to get offers for more than the asking price. 
But in this case, I had already ran this through auction one time and nobody bought it. So when they offered me 48, I took it. The next item are these dragons. And I sold these for $37.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I had another one of these that sold. It was a single dragon and it sold for more. And these are definitely a bolo and something to be on the lookout for. I picked these up at a garage sale and a bulk buy. So probably had less than $5 in them. All right, this vintage stuffed elephant. Okay, so this one was a little bit hard for me to sell. Um, when my husband and I, I don't know if we were dating or newly married, we would go like to estate sales together. And we thought this was so cute and we picked this up at an estate sale. And we displayed it for a long time, but it kind of got to the point where I'm like, okay, we've got stuff sitting out. We just, I just need to sell it. And I kind of just listed it and I didn't tell him. <laughs> and then I got an offer on it and I told him and he's like, you're selling our elephant. And I'm like, do you not want me to do it? And he's like, no, you can sell it. And I'm like, no, I feel bad. But he didn't even notice that it was missing. So anyway, um, I sold this to a subscriber and he goes to Donatella Bodolino and tees auctions for you. So I knew him from the chat there. And when he made the offer, he disclosed who he was. And I was like, okay. And I, I don't think he's a reseller. So that made me feel good. And then I was at uh, Donatella's auction and he said he was buying it for his wife because she loves elephants. And I was like, so happy that it was like, it's, he's buying it for his wife. I just, I love that. So that made me really happy. And I know that's really cheesy, but I really had like a little bit of an attachment to this elephant. So I did take a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping and it is adorable. I think it's handmade and one of a kind. And my husband and I both really like stuff like this, but we, I mean, we've been married, let's see, six or seven years now. So we've had it a really long time. So like I said, it was kind, it was kind of hard to sell but um, I'm glad it found a good home, so. All right, the next item. I went off on a little tangent there. Um, these Barbie clothes. So these are just items that I have picked up at garage sales and mostly garage sales. I always buy stuff when I can get it cheap and in lots, and this stuff, I just, I didn't wanna mess with it. I think there was probably some 80s, 90s, um, I don't think there was anything super old in here, but I definitely some vintage items, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Most of it was Barbie stuff. There may have been some other things mixed in there, but either way, I just lotted it up at one point. I was like, I could part some of this out and you guys know me. So I sold this for $60 and the buyer paid shipping and it sold really fast. So I'm guessing somebody's going to part that out and make some money. The next item came from the bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 350 pound jewelry lot. And I sold this for $42.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think this watch is awesome. I've never seen a watch that has this little uh, date, days of the week. And um, my husband's really into watches and he thought it was pretty neat too. So I was excited about this one and it looked to be like in brand new condition. It's not, but it was really nice. Um, you can see here the back and the band, you know, it didn't have any major creasing. It was a nice watch and they left me great feedback. The next item. Okay. This was in my video. If you guys are not watching my unboxing videos, this was in one of my unboxing videos. This is a headdress and I actually tried this on in the video. So it's kind of funny in my thumbnail, you can see me wearing it, but, um, this sold for a best offer of $75 and the buyer paid shipping. And again, this came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 350 pound bulk buy. So um, I have a whole series on that uh, lot. Like when I go to pick it up, when I weigh everything, and then there's tons of videos of me going through everything I got. If you guys are interested in that. The next item is this Simpsons and I have done so good on these Simpsons items. I picked these up at a thrift store. It was a bulk buy. Um, it was a tote and another box full and it was so much stuff. Um, so I don't have much in this at all. I sold this for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item are these Barbies. Uh, these came from a garage sale and it was a whole bunch of Barbies and I've sold some of them individually. I've sold some of them in lots and I can't remember what I paid for all of them. It, it, I got a good deal because I bought all of them and I sold this for $52.80 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, are you ready? Here comes my big money bolo. I sold this perfume for $250 and the person that bought it from me sells perfume and that's all they sell. So I should, I'm going to go and check out her store. I'm guessing she's going to sell this or list this for $350 to $450. Yeah, it's like majorly hard to find, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I, I need to go and check because I think it showed that it was delivered. I need to go look. Okay, maybe I'll do that after the video because I want to see what she's going to list it for. I have a feeling she's going to flip it, but I got a good deal on it. So I was like, it's fine. If she buys it and flips it, she can make some money. I made some money. It was a quick flip and super cool. The next item, and I took a best offer of $250 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Star Trek mini ships. I picked these up at a garage sale. It was a bundle buy. So I probably have a couple bucks in them. I took a best offer of $40 in the buyer paid shipping. And after um, further investigation, I actually found a set of these new in the box. So I'm pretty sure these are micro machines. And I think I had them priced too high. Originally, that's why I took the offer of 40. The next item is this vintage ERTL Playground Kids now. One of these that was new in the box went for huge money. I got it in the box. I was hoping it was going to be complete and in good condition. Conditions not great. Her hands chewed up. Her hands chewed. Um, there's some other issues. I tried to take pictures. Like you can see this is kind of broken. But if this would have been new in the box and brand new condition, I probably could have gotten 150 for it. I picked this up at a thrift store. I think it was a couple dollars. Um, I sold it on auction for $49.99 and the buyer canceled. So I relisted it auction style and somebody offered me 60. So I took an offer on an auction of 60. It just shows $49.99 because that's what I had it listed for. But I took a best offer of $60 and the buyer paid shipping. This next item, I got at a garage sale. I think I paid $5 for it. It's a pond light kit. and yeah, I paid five and I sold it for 60 and the buyer paid shipping and I bought two of them. The other one sold pretty quick. This one I've been sitting on for a while. Okay, here's another uh, vintage perfume I got. I sold this one for $88 and the buyer paid shipping and this came from my vintage perfume haul. The next item are these Goose Bump books. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $175 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I had these on Mercari also and uh, someone messaged me and they said that books 59 through I think it was 62 and I, I haven't researched this because I had already sent an offer out to this person and I'm like, I don't want to know. But they said like 52 through 62, some of them were only printed once. I don't know what they were saying, but maybe I could have gotten more if I would have sold them individually. But either way, I sold these for $175 plus shipping. Goosebumps are a great bolo. Definitely be on the lookout. The next item are these toys. Again, I pick these things up at garage sales all the time. I have like totes in my money pile just sitting to be listed but I kind of went on a little tangent of listing toys and you'll see uh, in my what solds they're doing pretty good but um this person bought this lot of boys toys and then this lot of my little ponies and they paid $90 for both sets and the shipping was like $48 so these toys that you see at garage sales that you can pick up super cheap, a lot of times they'll just be like, take them all for $5. You know, it's definitely something, um, 
something to, to think about. And I, I'll pull out some of like the ones that are like all the same and I'll lot those up. And then these are just the extras. The next item are these Linux holiday dimension set. I got these, I believe, I think it was a Goodwill. And I think I paid $5 for them and I sold them for $48 plus shipping. And I still have one set left. This Coca-Cola hat, I have gotten so many offers on this and I finally got an offer for 40, which is better than most of the other offers I've gotten. So I took it and I picked this up at a garage sale. I think it was like 50 cents and it's a trucker hat. It's got the mesh on the back and it is a Newton MFG. So made in the USA, $40 plus shipping. All right, you guys. Those are my big money bolos. What's your favorite? Put it in the comments. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you made it this far, comment I made it to the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Have a good night.